Hi, I'm Lydia Francis. I'm a scenic artist here at the Guthrie Theater. And today I'm going to be showing you how to refresh a piece of furniture for our production of Emma. Okay, so we're gonna be starting off with some Tough Prime with some tint in it. Tough Prime is really great because it sticks directly to the wood and helps repel any sort of water or anything like that. So it's a great base to start off with. And we're gonna be using two colors. I like to use two colors for wood grain because it really helps to give it a little bit more of that depth. Uh, an important thing when you're painting a piece of furniture or any wood is to go with the grain. So I'll make sure to kind of point out which way I'm going with the grain as I go. So right here, we're gonna start going horizontally. I'm not super worried about the parts that are already dark because that's something that is gonna stay that way even as I paint it. So you don't have to be exactly perfect as you're painting. And then I'm gonna add in a second color just to kind of give it a little bit more depth so it gives it that feeling of that really nice wood grain. And this is a great way to really refresh furniture. We do it here all the time to make pieces that are older look completely brand new. Now I'm gonna switch directions of the grain for this piece and for the leg going vertically. So a glaze is essentially um, what we use as a water-based sealer. So it really helps to seal in all of that pigmentation. And then it's a sealer plus some tint or pigment to give it the color. And the sealer is also really nice because you can choose the sheen. So what I'm using right now is a satin sealer. So it's not too glossy and not too flat. And this is something that we use all the time in floors and all sorts of different things. And glazes are really nice because they're not opaque. Opacity is how, how much you can see through something. So a regular paint will be really opaque, whereas a glaze will not be as opaque and you can kind of see through it. And that really helps to capture um, the different layers underneath. So the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to be dry brushing some gold onto these little details here. You can see in our research, there are some gold pieces. So I'm going to be emulating that here. So uh, when we're dry brushing, I like to dip into my paint and get just a little bit of paint on there. And then I also just kind of brush some of it off onto a table or a surface just to make sure that I don't have too much paint on my brush because a big part of the success of a dry brush is just getting that little kiss of paint on there. And that is a wrap on my mini masterclass. Happy painting.